All right, I'm out here riding on the street, uh, getting a little test ride with the lipos, and uh, it's pretty fast. I still don't have my cat I hooked up. I don't know why. So I started working on my mount for my digital voltage meter and I'm just using some electrical hardware to mount it all onto the bike and I think it's going to work out perfectly. Uh, what I have here is a half inch uh, PVC conduit body and I used two three quarter inch uh, one hole straps that are PVC and I just uh, tapped them with some number eights through the conduit body. I also shaved off the ends of the conduit body where the pipe would actually go into it and I made it so I kept the little screw adapters that flange out on the ends so I could put a piece of uh, clear polycarbonate over it and cover up the meter. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to close up one of these holes completely by filling it with epoxy and then shaving it down. And I'm going to run my wires out of the other side and also fill it with epoxy. So I need to head to the store and get some epoxy and fill this thing up and then after that I can uh, shave down the epoxy and get it painted a proper color. I'm probably going to paint it black so it looks a little nicer. Now uh, these clips aren't clipped on yet but they clip on over the handlebars very very tightly but what I'm going to be doing is uh, putting some either super glue or epoxy on the connections when I crimp them, crimp them down so that they permanently glue and dry in place and they won't come off. And obviously my digital voltmeter is going to drop in there run some wires down to hook up to the controller and power it with a lithium cell and I'm obviously going to be putting it on a switch so it's not constantly displaying voltage when I'm not riding the bike so I need to find a switch. I had a handlebar switch around somewhere that I had a long time ago I don't know if I can find it or not but I'll give it a look and see what we get Okay, I was going to end up using a single cell lithium battery to power my volt display meter, but uh, I found out that 20 cells in series uh, puts out about 84 volts as we know, but I just used a cell phone LG charger as you can see, and it's made the plug into a 120 volt standard wall outlet, but I just stuck my Anderson connectors on it to test it, and I cut off the cell phone charging lead and tested it with a voltmeter and it puts out 5 volts. So instead of having a secondary battery pack that will have to charge that will probably end up being a hassle, I'm just going to put this AC adapter in parallel with my batteries and uh, I'll put a little switch on it so I can turn it on and off. That uh, makes it so I don't need to have a separate battery to power my display. I think that's going to work out good. I'm going to be able to shorten up this cord, get it all tucked up under there with uh, the batteries and the controller and get it finished. Okay, so I routed my AC adapter and an extra piece of one pair wire into my PVC conduit body housing that I'm going to be using for my digital voltmeter display on my handlebars. And I taped off the ends with a little bit of painter's tape and duct tape over that so I can fill the ends of the holes where the conduit would protrude in and out of this conduit body. And I'm going to be uh, epoxying them in place. So I'm going to be completely sealing off the holes. I have the wires tucked down to the bottom and ready to go so they won't be interfering with anything else after the epoxy dries. So uh, let's get this epoxy in here and let it dry overnight and see how it comes out. Okay, I blended up my two-part epoxy and I have it all resting down there in the conduit body filling the hole. I put a little piece of masking tape across the front of it so it doesn't run out of the body itself and I'm basically just making a big filler plug out of epoxy to cover that half inch hole that's in the conduit body. Now it's probably about half of a centimeter thick so it's going to take a long time to dry, probably about 48 hours for best results. So after this dries I'm going to flip it over and glue the other side that I have prepared over here with the wires protruding out of it. So this is probably going to take about two days for the full process to heal up and be done but it'll be worth it and watertight in the end. Well, the epoxy dried a little quicker than I thought. I let it sit for about an hour, and it was hard to the touch. 
I'm gonna let it cure a lot longer till I take the tape off but it is good enough to flip around and get the other side I used the rest of the epoxy which is a little bit more than half I kinda saved a little on the other side so this side's a lot thicker